day guys. Where am I at with the portal armrest? Um, pretty good actually. A lot of sleepless nights though, I can tell you. It's um, uh, through the day, the pain's not too bad because I'm constantly moving, but at night when I'm laying still and the body's at rest, it, my arm wants to move and it, so it causes me a bit of pain and wakes me up. So I'm sort of having scattered sleep. Now, before I went in for the operation, I loaded all these up onto the trailer and um, I'd actually started on this um, on this beam just here. So these are the beams that the engine's going to be sitting on in the engine bay. So they run the entire length of the engine room. Um, I started putting one together. Uh, so I've put a V prep in it and I've started welding it out and it, it more or less just needs welding out and then I can cut along it. Okay, so because I'm basically making a large angle line out of this, I don't have to put a V-prep on one side of it. So I've just put a V-prep on this end and a V-prep just there because I'm basically cutting that flange off anyway. So I don't need to worry about welding that side. This is the only side I need to weld. The other one, I still have to cut it, trim it, put a prep in it, and um, uh, tack it together. So um, I bought these homes because I will be able to do them, even though this arm's a bit messed up, um, because of this crane. So um, that crane is going to let me twist them, stand them up. Um, I don't know how I'm going to go with a grinder though. I'm just not sure on that one. I might might just get my son up to use the grinder for me and see how he goes. What do you reckon, Jackson? Um, yeah, so that's something that I'm I'm going to be getting on with. <clears throat> and we've been fairly busy around the house. Um, I had some concreters come in and they've put some slabs around for us. Um, had a mate come in on the weekend and him and Cheryl put our garden shed up so I can move a lot of the stuff out of the garage and put it down in the back um, and at the moment Cheryl's carting sand around the back she's a wonderful woman that one she's um, yesterday she moved a cubic meter of sand in a couple of hours in a wheelbarrow and she can't lift a lot in the wheelbarrow a maximum of 10 post hole shovel full so yeah it's quite quite good and she did it in the pouring rain too, so, you know, she's a bit of a goer. What are you doing there? Stealing the neighbour's rock. Stealing your neighbour's rock. You think he'll notice when he comes home from work? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, so once this comes off, you'll, I'll come out here. Um, I've got a good little sort of a work site here. I'll be able to use the crane, bring the welder out, and um, yeah, I'll be able to tidy those up and get them ready for, um, uh, for when the real work commences back on the boat. So at least I'm doing something. There's a couple of other jobs I'm looking at as well. I'm looking at making the wheel for the helm. Um, so I was thinking of making it out of... Um, uh, out of Australian hardwood so I want to try and get some branches that are a bit bent so that I can I can shape them up around that it's a nice little light project for me to work on while this is getting better another job that I'm looking at is the 
um, Morse control for the um, for forward and reverse and for the engine throttle. Um, I'm just looking at making a stainless steel cover up for that because I don't have one for the actual unit. Other than that, yeah, just kicking along, doing okay. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Catch up with you soon. Bye.